Eric van der Klee and I am Special Advisor to the Kickstart Accelerator in Zurich. So Kickstart Accelerator sounds really promising and sounds like it's quick and uh, it's prominent. So what is it about? So the Kickstart Accelerator is one of the initiatives of Digital Switzerland. Uh, Digital Switzerland is an organization that has brought together some of the largest uh, corporations from Switzerland to try and help transform the traditional industries of Switzerland. One of course of which is financial services. And uh, the Kickstart Accelerator is, this is one of the top four initiatives of Digital Switzerland. And it's a big competition, a global competition, which we had 850 applications, which we boil down to 30 finalist companies. And there are 30 finalist companies, 10 of which are FinTech, and the rest are a mix of food tech, advanced machines, IoT, that sort of thing. So talking about financial transformation, just tell me more about how you're going to transform it and in which direction. So financial innovation or fintech is happening in just about every sector of financial services. Uh, and you have really powerful innovations such as blockchain now emerging. Last year was a year of experiments. This year seems to be the year where people are starting to use this new, these new technologies in anger. But every single aspect of financial services is being challenged by those innovators, by fintech. And some of it is disruptive, that wants to become the new bank. And some of it wants to help existing financial services to be more efficient, to be more transparent. All of that becomes and falls under the banner of fintech. And we, at Kickstart, we very much enjoy being part of that. So what are you looking at today at Cybos 2016? What are you looking for? So here at Cybos, uh, Kickstart Accelerator is partnering with InnoTribe for the first time to actually run office hours here. Cybos is very special because it brings 8,000 financial institutions from around the world together, very luckily to Geneva this year, and it brings all those amazing executives. So we brought all of our cohort of fintech startups and some of the others, mix them together with InnoTribe's own uh, competition startups and we're doing matching office hours it's called. So we're matching experienced executives from the financial services industry to listen to the startups and give them feedback on their idea. From these connections wonderful things happen such as partnerships, they sell to each other or they may end up developing new businesses together. So how many partnerships have you signed so far? Oh, this is just the beginning now, but yeah, ask me second again. Second day. It's the second day, yeah. I'm, I'm, Actually, I'm, third one. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely underperforming, aren't I? <laughs> but ask me again in about 12 months' time, because these things obviously take time to nurture, but I'd love it if you ask me again, and let's actually make sure that we follow up with this, because Definitely. it would be wonderful to see some really good results out of this. It's just a little bit about Switzerland 2025. Looking forward nine years, so what do you expect to see in 2025? So it's interesting, because for me, the it's, uh, I've always thought Switzerland has some terrific industries. The, one of the most notable compared to London was financial services. But what's happened recently is that uh, Switzerland's financial services sector has become much more accessible to innovation. I mean, it always was. All the major corporations had their innovation strategy. But by getting together, even competitors, you know, it's this concept of co opetition who collaborate to help transform the industry, what you will see by then is a co almost complete transformation of every single part of the financial services sector. The existing incumbents will have very new and much more efficient business models, but the, above all, the customer will feel very special. They may feel very special because maybe they have a computer assisting a human to help them give the best possible customer service that you can have. But it will be very much more efficient, much better customer service. And actually, if Switzerland does it right, it could still be one of the global leaders in that sector. So do you think everyone will be able to open a bank account in Swiss Bank? Um, it would be frictionless for people to be able to do that in whichever country they choose. And the Swiss banks that are the smartest ones are thinking about not just Switzerland. Mm -hmm. They're thinking about how to make it frictionless for their best potential customers to find them, access them and to open accounts globally.